Well, hello there. <laughs> and some guten tag, of course. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Modded Minecraft. And Happy New Year, of course. Yes, it is 2017. Uh, the promised video right before uh, Christmas wasn't actually released. Just because I didn't make any. <laughs> I just hadn't had the time. It was just not possible. But you can see we are back at Minecraft. Um, I decided to go with something uh, different for the intros. And uh, I will do some sort of outro as well. Maybe um, not this episode, but it will come eventually. But um, instead of talking, just when you watch my little avatar on the screen, I thought you might as well um, get the real me, so face-to-face -face time, so to speak. And we can talk about things like this instead of just to my digital counterfeit. So, um, what are we about to do? Uh, actually, I have no idea. <laughs> I haven't played Minecraft in, uh, in over two weeks. The, the last video that I released, the last Minecraft video, was actually the last time I played. Um, so, there is a lot of things for me to catch up as well. Oh, oh, by the way, I bet you can't see that right now. But the thing is going like crazy. <laughs> we are losing cobblestone like mad because we are, um, we are making this cavern, uh, the inside of the cavern, I will show you in the second in game instead of like this. So um, I will think about stuff we can do today. I will show you the progress for the, uh, for the inside layer of the warehouse. Maybe we will build a little bit the warehouse and we will have to see. So um, I will show you around very quick. Then we will hop into the game um, and see what we can do. So see you in the game. All right, just see how far this thing got so far. Let me turn on night vision so we can see a little bit better. Boo! Here we go, mobs spawning like crazy. I have to do something about the lightning um, in here so we prevent... Oh no, maybe we can use um, one of those... Uh, what was it called? The obelisks from, from Ender IO or Refined Storage, which prevents mobs from spawning. That would be nice. So we are, um, we are here. I have no idea how far this actually is in. Uh, it's quite a bit. It's not half. I don't think it's half. No, it's not half. So over there is the uh, the opposite side of that. Uh, but it still it still looks amazing, especially when you look at it like this. The um, it's even better with this on. You can see the water beneath. Uh, well, I'm not sure. Maybe it's just obsidian. I can't remember what's what's um, below here. So this is the progress of the room. Uh, this will do its thing without our interference quite well. There's the warehouse. You can see here, that was the hint from uh, the last thumbnail that we actually fought some withers. Um, I, th I uh, showed you this last time. This is just the wither killing box. I built very simple, very easy. Uh, we will automate that eventually. Um, just because we can, and it's n um, always a good idea to have some spare uh, end crystals. What are they called? That's not end crystals. What what is the name of that? Nether star. Uh, it's always a good idea to have some nether star spare. And this year we'll have to go back on top. Of course, I borrowed that from uh, from here. Let's see, here we go. Here. <laughs> uh, it was just. A little pedestal idea I had for the thumbnail. So, um, this is what we done last time. I, as I said, I did nothing in between episodes. So, we really have to look into uh, what do we do now. Let me think of that and then we will back again in a second. The room is finally finished. Um, I didn't even pay that much attention. And when I looked into the, um, into the refined storage thingy, to see um, if we have stone left, there was actually 4,100 stone in the system, uh, which could only mean it is done. So here's the complete room, completely laid out. Ooh, this looks strange. <laughs> Better turn it on. Um, this is the complete room. And, oh yeah, here. Um, this is the center, the marked center, uh, where I removed the blocks, here. 
And like in the in the original series, the Warehouse 13 series, uh, by which this should be inspired, um, there is some sort of office uh, inside this wall there. And then uh, like a little balcony or deck or something. And then um, a staircase down to the actual warehouse. So this is something I really want to build. This, this should be the main... Um, yeah, the main whatever central uh, thing, nexus thing about um, the whole storage system from where we can access the storage system, um, most likely via refined storage. Um, but there should be a proper building for that. But uh, I looked at a few building materials. Oh, get up here. Oh, it's night. There you go. So I looked at a few building materials and I, you know, what I actually like um, is these blocks here. This obsidian brick path and a stone brick path and stuff like that. They look really, really beautiful. They are so brilliantly made um, texture wise and stuff like that. Really awesome. But they are from blood magic. And because we stopped doing blood magic quite a while ago, after just looking into it, um, we need to continue with that, because otherwise we won't have access to these kinds of blocks. So, if I remember that correctly, we built that um, inside that floating rock, I think. So let's get over here and look at it. Um, yeah, 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 the, these are these black uh, basalt or whatever. Basalt, yeah, these are the basalt blocks. Um, I wanted to keep it um, very dark, but I'm not really satisfied with um, what it looks like, like right now. And all we have is this Hellfire Forge, um, which I actually can't even remember how it works. <laughs> so uh, I have no idea, but I found a better place. Yee <laughs> oh, you fool! Drop to your death! <laughs> um, where is it? Oh yeah, it's actually over here. This place here. This is some sort of bowl, uh, and I think it is. Hello. <laughs> Way more fitting the theme. Um, oh, I thought it was enclosed here. It isn't. But remember this bowl uh, with the altar down there in the middle of it. And man, all the things. Hello? <laughs> Shooting left and right. I will hit you in the head. And you drop to your... No, you don't. Okay, I kill you. Um, good. Yeah, we have this, this bowl-like thingy here. And it's really dark and hidden. And I think I want to do something with that. So I will try to get um, the Hellfire Forge down here. Uh, lay maybe... Oh, you know what? I won't even lay out a proper floor because I want to use the building materials from Block Magic for that. Man, all the arrows. Okay, let me prepare a little bit, grab a few resources and get going. All right, so um, I've built the altar. Um, it took me a while because I needed to build a new of these sentient swords uh, because you need a raw demonic will for it. So far, we used this um, lesser tataric gem to store the raw demonic will in it, uh, but that can't be used to craft um, the blood altar. And I crafted as well um, a sacrificial dagger. This, I think will fill this up with um, LP, whatever that is, life power, life whatever, I think. Um, and then we can make uh, Inspectoris Scandalum. And I hope this will be something like the, um, the manual for blood magic. I don't know, though. So we have a book. Here's the book. Place the book here and then do this. No. Um, oh yes, maybe. Oh, you can see we fill it up with red stuff, which is most likely our blood. Oh yes, it, it worked. All right, good. So, taco. Okay, we're healing. Now let's look at this. No. 
I don't want to send it to any tier. What am I doing? I was hoping for a manual. I need instructions. Uh, okay, so that's not a manual. <laughs> Let's see. Um, to make all the stone stuff, we need uh, those orbs. Uh, and I guess... I guess the first tier would be the weak or what would this here tier two blood altar. Also, we need a tier two blood altar for it. And I have absolutely no idea um, how to build these altars. I, I saw them in different let's plays. They are uh, rather huge constructs, uh, multi-block uh, constructs. But I have actually absolutely no idea how to build this. Um, we have different... Well, we have a lot of stuff. <laughs> I think I will not look into that right now. Let's see. We need a diamond. Um, diamond. Give me a few. And um, put put the diamond... Oh, no. Put the diamond here. Okay. Obviously, we don't have enough uh, liquid life essence. So LP means life essence? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, more sacrifice. What was mentioned? A thousand? Oh! <laughs> Oops! <laughs> um, okay, put this there. Uh, I didn't realize um, we were actually that weak already. <laughs> Stupid. Um, I thought... There was uh, a little bit to go yet. <laughs> Obviously not. Give me my stuff. Good. Let's see. <laughs> oh, man. Stupid buster. Okay. So, oh, no. We, we, uh, yeah, yeah, we did it. <laughs> At least something. Give me that. Good. And now, um, let's see. <laughs> um, blood. Blood magic. For example, there is some sort of black stone that is really beautiful. Can I find it right away? Obsidian brick path? No, that is too dark. There's some grayish um, tile thingy like this one. Tiled worn stone path. Stone brick path. Wooden path. Tiled stone path. Stone brick path. Hmm. There is a lot of real beautiful... Oh, there we have it. Um, Demon Will Crystal is used for this one. And for this here, Stone Brick Path, one Stone Brick Path. And this is made by Granite and some of those. What does Tier 3 mean? Hmm. What does Tier 3 mean? Does it mean we need to, to make it on an altar? Let's see. Does this do anything? No. That does nothing. And this is crafted differently anyway. Mm, that doesn't make sense. Nope. <laughs> okay, um, I will spare you this. I will try to figure it out and be back in a second. So, all right, um, I was able to upgrade the altar to the second tier. When you right-click it with this Inspectoris Scandalum, uh, it can show you the next tier as hologram blocks in the world. Although it didn't work all the time, I'm not quite sure how that works. Uh, but the altar here is running. Oh, that is bad. Mm, this is already kind of bad, because now um, the crafting stopped. Oh, I have to change that. Um, so what I did here, down here, um, under the altar is an importer which just imports slates. Slates are these uh, things we need for crafting. And by the way, there was just an email arriving. I forgot to close my email problem. <laughs> um, then we have the exporter here. The exporter exports... Um, bu -bu -bum stone and it does it just with redstone signal um, the comparator reads the redstone signal from the blood altar so it makes sure the uh, there is blood in there and then the repeater gives that signal 
to the um, exporter. But we need more. We need more than one. We need at least two. We need a signal strength of two. And I, um, I am not certain how to do that. This is a signal strength of two. Hmm. Ah, well, I will think about that later. So we have at least, um, you can see a top left corner, uh, the bottom left corner, current tier is two. Uh, I did that with ash uh, here. It's quite interesting how you can do that. Um, you make um, this here on the ground, you draw it with arcane ash, then you give it redstone, and for example, a, um, uh, a slate, a redstone is the example, slate I think is always necessary. And then it will perform this whatever it is, <laughs> some sort of natural ritual, magical uh, thing, magic. And then boop, we get a uh, divination, divination sigil, divination sigil, I have no idea how to read that. <laughs> um, and then you can look at the current essence in the world, the current essence in your altar, and the current um, tier. You can look at the tranquility level in the uh, incense altar. Uh, what else can you do? You can... nothing here, nothing here. Okay, so uh, these are the things um, the sigil can show you. Uh, and I figured there is actually an in-game um, in manual for um, blood magic. When you have the guide API installed, which I have, then you can look up a lot of uh, things, for example, the blood altar, how it is crafted, how it does work, how you can upgrade it, and because of that, I was able to upgrade it to tier 2 with this blank runes. And I think the next step will be to upgrade the blank runes for um, self-sacrifice runes to uh, improve the efficiency of the altar. Let's see, when you look at blood, um, ba -ba boom, here, rune of self-sacrifice. By that, um, but we need tier two, which we actually now have. Um, we can make this and the, the rune of self-sacrifice will improve. Let's see, how here it is, will improve uh, the yield per 10%. So if we change all these uh, eight blood blank runes, for self-sacrifice runes, we will be able to gain 80% more. And um, there is a way with with uh, a certain type of planks uh, to improve the tranquility level of this year. Um, so right now we gain 20% additional life essence when we sacrifice our own life, our own blood, Boop, like this. This is now 2,375. Uh, and when we increase the tranquility level here, uh, we can increase that further. And with self-sacrifice runes, even furthermore, and so on, and so on, and so on. So now you can see we have two of those, meaning we have more than 2,000 um, blood in there. Or oh, even the third one. No, the fourth one not. I think this indicates more than 2,000. This would indicate more than 3,000. Let's test that. Hello. Thank you. Yeah. Now we have more than... Uh, even more than 4,000. Let's see. Yeah, and this is off. Okay, yeah, well, this is... No, no, it's still on. Well, I actually don't know. But I think all we need for this purpose here is at least two. So I will have to come around with... Uh, I don't know yet. I will do it somehow. <laughs> let's see. It should be possible. Um, let's see. Make another repeater. Just want to give it a quick try if this possible or not. Um, I played around with the mod now for quite a bit. Actually, um, three hours or something like that. So it really um, takes time. But with all the mods... It is usually the same, and it will take time. That is just the way the cookie crumbles. No, it doesn't work. Why not? Why not? Why not? Well, that does work, but now we need at least... Oh, we need over... No, no, it's fine. That is fine. We need over 2,000. That is okay. 
So this should stop crafting as soon as the life essence um, get below the threshold. The threshold for this purpose should be um, under 2000. Yeah, it's off. Okay, so this will hopefully finish. Come on. I don't get it. We drain, we drain so much LP in one of these stones. How is it not? How is it possible that it is still? Was that just um, what? How many stones was that? Let's see. Now this is empty. This is empty. Sacrifice ourselves. Whoop. This is now 2000. So this should. Huh. Now that stopped. It should make at least one slate. Let's let's watch it. Let's watch it. No, it doesn't. Why doesn't it do anything? Um, let's see. Put it worked a second ago. It worked. Give me that. Seventeen stones. I don't want you to put seventeen stones in there. I wanted you to put one in there. Okay, I must reconsider what I did here. <laughs> it clearly doesn't work. Uh, I will come up with something. Or you can let me know what you think of it. So, um, I think... I think this is all for today. And with that, we will end it for today. I hope you liked it. If so, please leave me your thumb of joy. We will see us again in the next one. Take care of yourself, guys. And rock on.